guys, my name is Kierke, and today I'll be showing you what is in my bag. Ooh, see. Hey, I got my Gucci. And by mine, I really mean my mom's own share. And by share, she would define as occasionally borrowing without asking. That's despite the point. You guys don't care about the little road. In all seriousness, I used to love getting inspo for my bag back in my hardcore Tumblr teen days. And the Vogue versions of this video are just so mint. <laughs> I just successfully convinced people to leave my video and go watch Vogue. But you know what? How many people in Vogue are broke? Yeah, that's an interesting take. Huh, I actually have it put together so nicely. I really like having an aesthetic bag. <laughs> well, I did before. It just makes me feel like I have my shit together. Doesn't even need to be true, all sense of comfort. What have we got? Oh, I was supposed to, oh. I was supposed to talk about the purse. That's this part. <clears throat> So this a beautiful juicy thing it is red, like an apple, but a very, very rich apple. It's beautifully complemented by the gold details. You can see Gucci written all over it, just so you know, you can tell it's Gucci. What? buy expensive clothes bags and just hide it. Even though we all know I didn't buy this, I can proudly say I would have. It's vintage. My mum got it when she was my age. I wish I had an excuse for how I turned out. And it's extremely spacious despite not looking it. Lined on the inside with leather as well. With a complicated closing situation just to throw pickpocketers off. It's leather. It's sturdy. It's classic. And look! You can unhook the straps and carry it like this. So anyway. That's the bag. What's in the bag? This. I feel like we're missing my favorite pen. By the way, this isn't actually realistic what's in my bag video. Most of the stuff in here I didn't even know was in here. <laughs> That's not supposed to be in there. Or that one. I'm going to start with possibly the least interesting thing in my bag. This one is specifically from Kiki K. It's a Switzerland brand, but it's massive in Australia and it's my absolute favorite. I mean, look at it. It's got little kitties. Next important thing. Ha! This is my little girly pouch. I keep all my sanitary items in it, pads, tampons. I have like a separate pouch in every one of my four bags too, just in case. I have never loved or hated myself more when you get that not very fun surprise from your uterus while you're out in public and you're not expecting it, or worse, while you're at someone's house. And then you actually have a pad or a tampon ready to go. When that happens, I know I'm doing being a woman right. I also carry this cute little portable charger. It's petite, it's so perfect. Two ports, and it also has like a light if you... Disco, good, good, disco, disco. It was super cheap from mini so and it's just perfect when you have those like long transit ride. So far, everything in my bag is so responsible. Ah, I know why. There is like one minute every blue moon where I actually have my shit together. And that responsible version of myself hides all the shit in my bag. So when I'm not being responsible, surprise, it's there. I'm ready to go. Ear pods. I got this for free when I purchased my iPad. Which is really convenient because I can't keep up with Apple changing its holes. Okay. Okie dokie. Very funny. Okay. My keys. These are not what I would call stylish at all. But they are definitely the cutest. So this one is a little sushi. I got it from one of my Japanese friends as a goodbye present. So Cute. This one is a photo of Gingy. It just makes me instantly happy to look at it. <laughs> and this red awkward looking thing is actually my key. <laughs> For all you nerds out there. <laughs> Totoro! For those of you that don't know this little guy, his name is Totoro. He is the cutest thing in the world and he represents a glorious and the bestest movie making studio, Studio Ghibli. You guys are probably thinking, why do you have a handkerchief? It's like a Japanese thing my mom taught me to get to have it off. I'm gonna pass that knowledge on to you. Sweating, you wipe your brow. Sings in public and make a mess. 
you wipe. Spontaneous nosebleeds, you wipe. Wash your hands and no paper, dry it. You don't want to touch that gross thing. Use as a cover, you spill some stuff on yourself, you dab it away, you cry, you wipe those tears away. Mm, the forgotten magic of handkerchiefs. I hope you guys enjoyed that montage. I know it probably took a while for me to make. Oh my god, the cut pouches! A little closer, a little bit more. <laughs> Not just any candy, great candy, great candy. If it comes from Japan, it is the best flavor in the world. Hands down, it is glorious. <laughs> I like five more of these just like scattered through the bottom of all my bags. Every time like a bus would run late or I would accidentally miss it or the bus driver would just randomly stop just to eat a sandwich and make me miss a callback. Yes, that happened. Thanks LA Metro. Let's kick it back. It's like I want to be. Compensation for all the stress that it caused me. This is my wallet. It's gold. My mum told me that in Japan she had read something that said gold wallets would attract money. <laughs> I have zero dollars in this purse. It was worth a try. I just have my expired ID, a Crossroads card, seven Metro cards because I keep forgetting my card and have to buy a new one. I have a random script. I always have just random scripts from I don't know when lying around in my purse. Which is really sad because I actually haven't been cast for anything. For all of you curious bugs, this was a Power Rangers audition that got cancelled as soon as the Rona hit. <laughs> Finally, this goes with the pen from the beginning of the video. It's my mini tiny notebook. It's super cute. It's extremely pretty to look at so you don't feel too tempted to actually look Ugh. inside. I'm a bit of a writer so I love writing on the go during long bus rides. I have like 10 books like this that I have filled out during the last five years of just traveling around. And it's like the perfect size because it's not too big and it fits just so easily into my purse. This is my goodie bag. It's got a little bit of everything that I need on the road. It's got cute flowers on it. You have a Gucci mirror that came with the purse, nestled in with some hideous unicorn band-aids, just in case, you know. A clip in case for my bangs, a hair tie. I got some painkillers, which is so, so important to have. There's nothing worse than being in pain because you're unorganized. Some fancy lippy, some moderately nice lippy with a natural but cute pink lip tint and the almighty Carmex. This is a weapon. This works so fast and so magical on the lips. It is actually mind blowing. And this bracelet is from Lei. I kind of keep it in here as a memento and good luck charm because long distance relationships suck. And then there's my phone. It's got a pretty Tiffany color and I one day got jealous that some random person had a Studio Ghibli phone case and I didn't. So I printed and cut out a bunch of like tiny little Studio Ghibli images but now it kind of just looks a little bit sad. <laughs> nah, it's cute. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Comment down below what you have in your bag or if we had anything similar. I love reading all your comments. It seriously makes my day. Feel free to subscribe too. I make videos every Friday and I will see you next week. Mwah.